The errors or mutations that occur in the replication of DNA can have significant impacts on individuals and on species. Mutations that occur within body cells can, for example, cause illnesses such as cancer if the mutation programs the cell and all its daughter cells to grow and divide uncontrollably. Such mutations are often caused in humans by radiation and chemicals such as those found in cigarette smoke that break strands of DNA. As we will see, the resulting repair work often leaves the DNA with an error. Mutations that occur in sex cells don't affect the individual in which they occur, but rather, if they are carried in a sex cell that unites with another sex cell, they are carried into the next generation. Such mutations have the potential not only to affect the individual that initially inherit them, but in the long term, the species as a whole. That is because an individual who inherits a mutation has a copy of that mutation in every cell of their body, including the ones they will eventually use in the production of sex cells. If the mutation increases the fitness, as judged by natural selection, of the individual and succeeding generations, the mutation will likely become more and more common in the species population. Each and every one of us are largely the result of mutations that, starting with the first piece of DNA in the first living organism, have been successful in increasing the fitness of individuals and species as judged by natural selection. We are, therefore, the products of successful mutations and the adaptations they led to. But history is full of even larger numbers of mutations that were judged by natural selection as unfit for survival. There are three basic types of mutations. Point mutations, insertions, and deletions. Occasionally, during replication, in spite of all the proofreading and corrections, a mismatched base pair in one of the chromosomes, as for instance, an adenine base pairing with a cytosine base, goes unnoticed, and the cell proceeds with either mitosis or meiosis. Repair enzymes in the daughter cell that received the mismatched pair notice the mismatch and proceed to correct it. However, these enzymes no longer have any way of knowing which strand is an original parental strand or a newly replicated daughter strand. If the enzymes correct the mismatch by replacing the base on the daughter strand, the original base pair will be restored. However, if the enzymes correct the mismatch by replacing the base on the original strand, a base pair different from the original DNA will result, and a point mutation will have occurred. Insertions and deletions occur not due to any errors in replication, but rather from a break or breaks in one of the strands. Often outside sources, such as radiation or chemicals, cause these breaks. Insertions often occur when one strand breaks in a single location and one or both of the freed ends loop out. Repair enzymes fill in the resulting gap with new nucleotides, making the strand that had the break longer than the strand that remained intact. As a result of how the process of replication works, after cellular division, one daughter cell will receive a new longer segment of DNA due to the insertion mutation while the other will receive an unchanged, mutation-free segment of DNA. Deletion mutations occur if a strand of DNA breaks in two places. The section between the breaks is forced out, and the repair enzymes draw the two remaining strands together without filling in the missing nucleotides. Again, a loop occurs in one of the strands, but in this case, it is the intact strand. Now when cellular division occurs, one daughter will receive a shorter segment of DNA due to the deletion mutation while the other strand remains unchanged. Having seen how DNA replicates itself and how mutations occur, we now look at how the genetic information contained in an individual's DNA is converted to the proteins that make living organisms what they are.